Okay, what's going on people? So, welcome to Adelaide. This is Adelaide. You can see the sun is just starting to set in the background. Don't know how well you can see that. So yeah, welcome to Adelaide. Um, so, I'll be honest, it's not been a great start to my time here in Adelaide. So, long story short, early flight from Melbourne this morning. It's like 10 past 6 in the morning, so had to be up at like, which I was up at like 10 to 3. And um, it landed at 7 and I was like, right, I don't have, I don't have a room till, didn't, obviously didn't, couldn't check into my hostel till lunchtime. So I was like, right, I don't know what to do with her. So I was just spent an hour in the airport. I was so tired, unbelievably tired. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to doze off in the airport and then doze off to like half nine. And then I was like, right, see if I can just try and get into the hostel just so I can sleep. Because I just couldn't keep my eyes awake. So tried so I got to the hostel and I didn't have room till 12 1 and I was again I was struggling to, to get some sleep so I had to go and <laughs> there wasn't anywhere to like chill in the hostel so which was quiet so I ended up having to go to some hotel in the middle of Adelaide and literally just sleep in the lounge area although I couldn't really sleep in the lounge area because like I can't do that so just dozing in and out of sleeping really with my laptop well, out pretending I was doing some work so he wouldn't kick me out so yeah, welcome to, um, yeah, not the most ideal start to to my time in Adelaide, but again, it's self-inflicted, my own fault for booking a stupid o'clock flight, 10 past 6 in the morning, obviously was out last night with Nev in Melbourne, sick night, such a good night, and finished Melbourne with a, Melbourne with a high, but, so yeah, like literally, I've been in Adelaide all day, so, and then, then managed to get to my hotel room at uh, a hotel, sorry, my hostel room at one. And we just slept till like seven. I was knackered, so tired. So I've literally done nothing. I've, you come to Adelaide, I've literally got two and a half days, and I've literally spent a day of it sleeping, which is not ideal. It is what it is. There's nothing I can really do. I'm just going to make the most of, I suppose, day and a half that has left. Now it's it's about quarter to nine. So I'm just trying to maximise my two hours here tonight, I suppose, before I have to go to bed. And then tomorrow, I've got to maximise full day, get up early, make it to make sure it's a productive day, seeing as much as I can for the city. And the same again on Friday. And then I've got like a, I think a five o'clock fight on on Friday to, to back to Sydney, Sydney for the weekend. So yeah, not ideal. Sleeping in a hotel foyer. Wouldn't recommend it, but you just got to do what you got to do. It is my own fault. So I thought I could hack it. I thought I could manage it. I've done it before, but I, on, I've, but I, I don't know. I think the hostel in, in Melbourne sort of just worked me off, really. It's what it is. Nothing I can do. Just got to be productive now. Stay tuned. Let's see what Ado is about. I also need a train. I desperately need a train as well. Need to find a gym and I need to train. Trained in eight days, so I have to get a session in somehow. I literally haven't had the time. Do you know what I mean? I literally haven't had the time. So I gotta, and I've not been feeling a bit off as well. So I gotta find some time. I gotta find a gym. So this is gonna add more issues to trying to do stuff in Adelaide. There's my ramble over. The joys of solo traveling and not having a room. Peak life. From the highs of a rooftop in Melbourne to an absolute low. So, stay tuned guys, Adelaide parts. It's only part one, Adelaide adventures. Let's do this. The other thing as well is without a lunchtime because I had to obviously go from this hotel foyer back to the hostel. Unbearably hot, 35 degrees, humidity levels way up there. And why it's now 20 to nine at night, and it's still like very muggy and sticky and not enjoyable at all. Apparently tomorrow it's going to be even warmer, so I don't know how I'm going to cope with that because even now I'm, I'm witchy sweat, I'm witchy dripping, and it's horrible. So we'll see how that plays out. Keep you guys updated. Catch you soon. All right, morning. What's going on, people? Well, first full day in Adelaide, I suppose. Actually, we're venturing out. Not sure what I'm going to do today. Just going to have a, a wander around, but it's incredibly hot again. Like. I've never experienced anything like that, if I'm being honest. Like, I think we're probably hitting about 35 degrees. And then, 
because of humidity and like the wind is even hot. It's a really bizarre concept to try and explain but it's not very comfortable at all. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how long I'm actually be able to spend outside because it is uncomfortable to say the least. It's not a lot I actually wanna do. What I wanna do is go to the Adelaide Overview Stadium bar that because that's what really what I really wanna do. Um, I'll play it by ear though, to see what I get up to. See how I can sort of manage in this. It's unbearable, in my opinion. Obviously, the a Brit coming from the cold and then to, to this 35 with humidity levels to the roof. Not, not nice, not nice. Let's get on with the day. We'll see where we end up and we will take it from there. And England wins. But anyway, yeah, I just spent the morning or the last sort of hour, hour and a half just walking around Adelaide and um, just going to the main bit. So I hear botanical gardens through CBD, etc. It's true when it's, it is really hot. Um, so it's hitting about 41 degrees. So it was it was tough, it's incredibly tough. Uh, I've never been to the highest public space, maybe 35, 36, not. Now this is tough. It's difficult to describe, it's like a like when there's no wind it's just about okay it's manageable but when there's like any sort of wind it's like it's like mass mass like hot air just blowing against you and you're trying to walk around or whatever so yeah just been chilling here really for like the last sort of like half hour 45 minutes because that sort of hour just really took it out of me yeah i mean it's all right it's all right it's 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 not a Melbourne, it's not a Sydney. In my opinion, it's a, it seems to be a cool place in Canberra. The, the CBD district is, is really busy. So yeah, first thoughts are cool. Um, obviously, I've only got a limited amount of time here, so just trying to maximise the time and see stuff, etc. So yeah, that's my first thoughts in Canberra. Sorry, first thoughts in Adelaide. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you up with you guys shortly. Not sure where I'm gonna end up. I need to get some lunch actually. I need to also get some water. Um, um, so yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Alright, what's going on people? Final half day in Adelaide. Um, final day of January as well, 31st today. Yeah, been a crazy month, hasn't it? Anyway, um, God, I'm so, so sweaty. So it's like 10, it's like 20 past 10, I'm just sweaty. It's horrible. Hey, okay, lost track there. Gonna go and train this morning. Gonna go find a gym, gonna train. Full, full body as usual, same sort of setup, similar sort of exercises. Again, just pushing the strength, push myself as much as possible. So I'll probably again just film what I can. Again, trying to mix things up with these these gym sort of gym footage as well because it's just very boring to see me doing the same exercise every single world episode while I'm travelling. I'll throw a few exercises in there to to make it interesting. Um, how are we? And then after that, obviously head to Sydney. Uh, I'll end this afternoon, be in Sydney for tonight. So yeah, walking forward to being back in my favourite city. Pre-workout of one of these bad boys, whole protein by Ruby Farm, 30 gram protein. And then Coca-Cola energy drink as my pre-workout. Could not find, I meant to want, I'm still meant to want a cup, but it's just not happening. It's not really happening. It's, um, in the minute, it's just trying to get three meals in. So, shouldn't really be having the full sugar one, but it was cheap, so. And I'm on a traveler's budget, it was like half the price of a normal one, so half the price of like a monster, so just gotta do what you gotta do. And quick sort of thoughts on training, it's been alright, so obviously trained last in Cambridge, it was a good session, and um, look forward to today. Physically, I started to feel like, yeah, very soft, starting to feel soft. Three, two and a half weeks in, 
and probably because I've been in that surplus, not ideal, but it's what it is. So yeah, that's also why I need to train else just feel a bit soft. So yeah, I was going to train. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to. I need to actually find a gym and um, fitness first. I've got a pass for fitness first, but no fitness first. Um, so I need to find a gym and then we'll we'll get this session away. So I will catch you guys shortly. See you guys. Session done at any time fitness. Yeah, not a bad session at all. I think the first signs of strength starts starting to drop. Not not by much, but a few exercises. The reps were down, like bike curls, bicep curls were down, squats were a tiny bit down, deads were up, a bit weird. Um, so yeah, not ideal, but it is to be expected. What you're two and a half, nearly three weeks in and you've and yeah, diet's been up and down, no sort of real real consistency. There's also sort of yeah, well not be trained as well, so it's there, it's 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 to be expected. All we said I'm not looking too bad aesthetically, It'd be a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, all in all, not too bad. Um, in terms of any time fitness, not, a, not the best gym in the world, if I'm honest. Very small, and little things like most places have a bench press, so you've got to you've got to set it up on a squat rack. Little things like like one set of weights for each weight, so like only one set of twelves, one set of fourteens, etc., etc. Most places tend to have two. So obviously downstairs was quite small. Look, it's all right, like, for a quick one-time session, it's not bad, but if you're coming at peak time, it's a bit of a, bit of a faff trying to, trying to do a session. The other problem as well is that it's split over two levels. So you've got your sort of like, your squat, like your deads and bench stuff and cables, etc. downstairs, when you've got your machines upstairs. You're trying to superset, for example, you want to use one of the machines a bit annoying so yeah but it's not a bad gym it's all right i still got i think i don't know i've been quite fortunate this trip what i've used crunch fitness that was decent uh fitness first again really good gym and then obviously my home gym is all right and then surface world gym which i went to last year again it's a sick gym and i'm just when you've been around those sorts of gyms you you get a bit like picky and you're like oh it's not got this it's not got that in but I got a session in, do you know what I mean? It's it's not the I had everything I needed in. I've just been just been nitpicking. I'm nitpicking really. Anyway, let's go get some post workout. Thinking of auto. Standard. And then I need to head back to the hostel and check it. I'm not check out, I've checked out already. Got my stuff and head to the airport. Adley, well and truly done, basically. First we're gonna go to all port oh porto because it's so nice. I don't think I've ever shown you guys all port all port. Oh Porto. So catch you guys in a bit. Greatest fast food restaurant in Australia. Oh Porto. Right, basically if you've never been to Oh Porto, this is what you want to be getting. So I've got a chicken and halloumi burger. Ooh, chicken and halloumi burger with a sauce. I don't know what sauce it is, but it's so nice. So yeah, if you yeah, Oh Porto, Porto there. Yeah. O Porto in Australia, that should be your go-to. So, so good. I think it's new though, so I don't know, because I don't think I had it last year, but anyway, so good. Right, I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm just gonna end this one here, because I'm gonna go to the airport, so. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope Adelaide hasn't been too boring. I apologise, it's been not the best weather in the world, but please like, comment, subscribe and share. I will see you, I suppose, back in Sydney now. So, see you for the return of Sydney, return of showers. Catch you soon. See you in a bit.